Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got the square A, B, C, D with the side lengths 56 such that this green quadrilateral A, F, G, H is inscribed in it. And moreover, the sum of the line segments A and this line segment B is equal to 35 and likewise the sum of these uh, line segments uh, x and this uh, y equals to 21 and now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded quadrilateral uh, e f g h please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100 percent true to the scale as we are dealing with this uh, tricky problem, so we are going to think uh, outside the box. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this square ABCD whose side lengths are 56 each. So therefore the area of this square is going to be simply, I'm going to multiply these side lengths 56 twice. And if we multiply them, we are going to get uh, 31, 36. So therefore the area of this square ABCD turns out to be a 31, 36 square units. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and label these right triangles. I'm going to call this right triangle A sub 1. This one I am going to call A sub 2. This one I'm going to call a sub 3 and this one I am going to call A sub 4. Then we can see that the area of this green shaded quadrilateral EFGH equals to the area of this whole square ABCD minus these individual areas A sub 1, A sub 2, A sub 3 and A sub 4 as you can see in this equation. But we know that the area of this square A, B, C, D, we already figured it out. That is equal to 31, 36. So I'm going to replace this one by 31, 36. So therefore, the area of this green quadrilateral E, F, G, H turns out to be 31, 36 minus A sub 1 plus A sub 2 plus A sub 3 and A sub 4. Let me go ahead and call this our equation number one. And here's our next step. In order to make our job easier, we created a bunch of these rectangles as you can see over here. Moreover, we can see that these right triangles are congruent in each and every rectangle as you can see. Since these uh, two right triangles are congruent, so their areas are going to be same. So I'm going to call this area A sub 1 as well. Likewise, the area for this one is going to be A sub 2. For this one is going to be A sub 3. And for this one is going to be A sub 4. Now let's focus on this uh, green rectangle in the middle. And we want to calculate the area of this uh, rectangle. And we know that this whole length is 56. And moreover, this length, this one is A. And this length is B. Then this length has got to be simply 56 minus a plus B in our case is 35. So let's subtract 35. That is going to give us 21. So therefore, this side length turns out to be a 21 units. Now let's focus on this side length. This is 56 units as well. And we know that this side length is X and this side length is y and we know that uh, x plus y is uh, 21. So this uh, side uh, length is going to be simply 56 minus 21. 
that is going to give us 35 units so therefore the dimensions for this uh, green rectangle in the middle turns out to be 21 and uh, 35 respectively let me go ahead and label this area of this rectangle as uh, uppercase a so the area for this uh, rectangle is going to be and we are going to use this uh, area of a rectangle formula length time width in our case uh, the length is 35 and the width is 21 units so therefore let's go ahead and multiply them so that's going to give us 735 square units so therefore this area of this uh, rectangle in the middle turns out to be 735 and now in this next step uh, we know the area of this whole square a b c d is equal to the sum of these individual areas a sub 1 this one a sub 1 as well a sub 2 a sub 2 a sub 3 a sub 3 a sub 4 a sub 4 and this finally a as well in the middle therefore let me start off with this a i'm going to write down a plus uh, we got a sub 1 and a sub 1 if we add them that's going to give us 2 a sub 1 plus uh, likewise a sub 2 plus a sub 2 is going to give us 2 a sub 2 likewise this is going to be 2 a sub 3 and then finally plus 2 a sub 4 and now we know that the area of this square a b c d is 31 36 so i'm going to replace this one by 31 36 and likewise the area a is we already figured out which is 735 as you can see in this uh, next step now let's go ahead and subtract uh, 735 from both sides this is uh, gone therefore on the left hand side we got 2401 now we can see on the right hand side uh, 2 is in common therefore i factored out 2 as you can see in this next step and now let's go ahead and divide both sides by 2 this is gone so therefore our a sub 1 plus uh, a sub 2 plus uh, a sub 3 plus a sub 4 turns out to be simply 1200.5 and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this green shaded quadrilateral efgh and now let's recall this equation one area of this green quadrilateral is going to be equal to this 31 36 minus a sub 1 plus a sub 2 a sub 3 and a sub 4 now we know that this a sub 1 plus a sub 2 plus a sub 3 plus a sub 4 we figured out in our previous step this turns out to be a 1200.5 so i'm going to replace this one by 1200.5 as you can see in this next step let's go ahead and subtract this one so this is going to give us 1930.5 square units so that's the area of this uh, green shaded quadrilateral efgh turns out to be 1935.5 square units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye